So we're here at ESBR Boxing and delighted to be joined by Dan Francis. Dan, we are in Clenetley, South Wales, um, for a historic boxing event. Why exactly is this historic? It's historic because it's the first time ever that a female, two females have fought for the Welsh title. You know, it's, it's massive and it's brilliant to have, finally have that. We're never going to have it with Lauren Price because obviously she's coming off of being an Olympic champion. She was high above area level, wasn't she? But it's absolutely fantastic to have this now and it's literally 10 minutes away. Dan, um, as, along with a small team, but you are effectively part of the brains behind an operation that we can see in the background. What's it like trying to put together an event where you've got, I don't know, how many have you got? 12, 14 boxers you've got to manage, their coaches, their seconds, the thousand tickets sold and so on. How are you feeling when it comes together on the night? You know, it, it, it's hard work up until it. You know, you've got all, all the things of, you know, Richie and Joe's wife and, you know, and myself, you know, putting the matches on and dealing with trying to get, like, promo videos and, and posters and everything done. You know, Richie and Joe have done a fantastic job for years. You've got to give them absolute credit. You've been to many of their shows in the past, you know. A lot of promoters would have pulled a lot of shows that Richie's kept going for these fighters. You know, so it's, it's absolute credit to have for him to have this and it's, a, and it's an honour for him to have this on, on his name and it's an honour for me to be a part with it with him you know he's an absolute servant to Welsh boxing and when he when he decides to stop a lot of people are going to be sad because he, he'll be missed very much so um, you know it's, it's an absolute privilege to have, have this my name on this event with him Vote Boxing my management company along with Latif and Joe Yarrell's company logo on this as well but the whole event has turned out brilliant you know there's that great atmosphere here great crowd but, you know, there's a few, been a few hiccups, but what, what, where does that not come in a boxing show? Isn't it? Every single boxing show ever has had hiccups. Going back to the bit about um, being like a servant to Welsh boxing, but more focusing on small hall boxing, what on earth possesses you to, to be involved with small hall? And I, I'm saying this as someone who comes here as well, but like, what on earth possesses you to be involved in like a stressful environment and all this stuff? Like, why are you doing it? I'm doing it because, you know, I've gone, as I said, I, in fact, I'll say it here now, you know, big shout out to the boys at ESPR. I actually used to do the same as what you're doing out there, you know, it's um, with yourselves. And I've set up a management company along with Joe Yarrell and Latif Mohammed and got my matchmaker's license. And when I came into doing matchmaking, I saw there's a massive talent pool in Wales, but not very many opportunities for the Welsh boxers. And these Welsh boxers go unseen for a very, very long time. And they deserve this opportunity. They deserve this to be on the big platform. They deserve to experience what it's like on the big stage. That's why we try putting some promo videos in and all the posters for them to experience what it's like here. Um, you know, and I've got a few, being a matchmaker, I've got a few opportunities for a lot of Welsh guys lately and some that are going to come out very, very soon. Um, some big opportunities as well. Um, but it's just about that. It's about being able to give these Welsh boys in a massive Welsh talent pool that opportunity because in the small country of Wales we don't get given that many times. Not a lot of the big boys come here. They've started now because of Lauren Price which is fantastic but I think it needs to be a lot more. These boys, a lot of these small boys who are fighting on the small old shows and in the bigger promoters when they do come to Wales need to be looking to put them on the cards you know. Absolutely. Yeah, and without trying to make this too Welshy, um, obviously over the years we've had some boxers here that have made a name for themselves, obviously. We've had, in recent years we've been spearheaded by the likes of Joe Cordina, now Lauren Price, Gavin Gwynn's been a big part of that and so on. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Have you got a name or two for us that in the future people can look out for and go, ah, Dan mentioned them a while back. Yeah, you know, it's the obvious thing. You've got Brandon Scott, you know, the mate, the Brandon Spiderman Scott himself, you know, boom, boom. You know, he's, he's doing waves, he's brilliant, isn't he, for the sport. But you've got a lot of fighters like you, like Kyron Jones and Kane Shepard, who were on the boxer show last time. Reese Edwards, you know, he made a statement last time. And a lot of boxers here, we've just signed a Welsh talent as well, called Har Harley, Griff Harley Griffiths. And, you know, and he's done a lot in, like, amateurs and, and license, and look out for him as well. But, you know, there's a lot of Welsh talent on the show. Victoria and Ashley, who knows where they'll go for the winner tonight. You know, it's, it's a massive, massive moment for them. There's big fights already in the line for them. So let's see what comes. Dan, thank you very much for your time. We'll let you get back to your work.